Okay, so we'll finish up with this one. And uh, it is, I think, a request. Was that a request? You said Jackaroo. I just thought um, that if you wanted something to see. Yeah, yeah, we'll do, we'll do Jackaroo. Um, it's, uh, we, we have a very strict policy over the years only to do requests that we know. <laughs> and uh, had, uh, a bloke came up to me once in Australia and he said, do you do requests? And I said, yeah. And I said, what, what would you like? And he thought for a while and he said, no, oh, you choose. <laughs> <laughs> it's magic, that. <laughs> Never got home. I, uh, you may have realised this, I'm not Australian. I was born in Sussex uh, at a very early age when I was a young lad. And uh, my mother had a farm in, the, in Sussex, which is right in the south of England. And uh, aged 18 in uh, 1960, uh, I came across to Australia. And whenever I say that, I can see people in the audience going, right, 1960, <laughs> <laughs> it was 54 now. Uh, well, I am 54, but plus GST. Uh, but, uh, so I came out when I was 18, 1960, and uh, as a jackaroo, uh, long story, which I won't bore you with. And uh, before I, I left England, I've always had a, a wanderlust. Uh, I went across and lived, when I left school, I went across and lived in Italy for a while because I thought uh, Italian was such a beautiful language. I wanted to go and learn Italian. This isn't about 1958, 59, around about then. So I went and lived there and learned Italian and then went back to England and then got a job uh, taking racehorses across to America and then came across here. So I've always had this wanderlust. And uh, before I left uh, England to come here, in our local village, uh, which is a place called Charlwood, uh, there was a skiffle group. I don't know whether many of you will remember skiffle, which was these American songs, you know, where it used to sing down by the riverside and the midnight special lead belly songs, which we used to thrash about. And uh, my first public engagement uh, was with our, our local skiffle group. We were called the Black Diamonds, and we had these white diamonds uh, in uh, sewed onto our pockets by our mothers. And uh, we used to go and sing these uh, American songs, uh, you know, and, and great fun. And uh, the, as I say, my first professional engagement was for the Women's Institute in Charlwood. And there was five of us in the group, and we got play, paid the princely sum of half a crown, which is 12 and a half pence in English money, which is uh, probably about eight cents or something here <laughs> and uh, that's between five of us and uh, it's been downhill ever since <laughs> but, uh, and uh, for the last 15 years Dan uh, my wife and I we've been living in France we had a property in France uh, which we we ran folk music courses there and Kate came along and we had some great times there and uh, one of the tutors uh, we used to get loads of tutors we had Eric Bogle and John Munro did a week there once. Bruce Woodley, do you remember Bruce Woodley? Mm -hmm. For the Seekers, he did a week for us. And uh, Bob Fox, Vim Garbett, Stan Graham, mm -hmm. uh, Kevin Dempsey uh, and Joe Broughton. Who else? Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Harvey Andrews. Mike Silver. Mike Silver is a fantastic songwriter in England. Uh, Mike Silver is worth his weight in gold. <laughs> if you can ever uh, get to hear any of his songs. Fantastic songwriter. And Mike used to come across and do uh, weeks there at Le Gisolinier, which was the name of our place. And uh, we were talking one night about how we got into <coughs> folk music. And he was asking me questions about how. And I told him the story about how I, I uh, was in the skiffle group, then came across to Australia. <laughs> and whilst I was on the sheep station, a place called Emu Springs, just outside of Tintinara in South Australia, it was there on the station that I heard the old blokes singing these old songs and I just fell in love with them. That's the songs. And uh, I decided that uh, I wanted to learn more about these songs, where they came from and what they were all about. I mean, your Australian songs are just, to me, uh, absolutely fantastic. Some people are allergic to them, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> but uh, I just fell in love with them. I mean, they are, they've got such a character to them, Australian songs, haven't they? There's, they're not equaled anywhere else in the world, I don't think. They're absolutely fantastic. So, <laughs> Talking to Mike about this, and he's ended up writing this song, just called Jackaroo. And the chorus for this goes, Gone for a jackaroo, mum. 
gone for a jackaroo, learn every trade till me bones are made, I'll be a jackaroo. Okay, can you manage that? Gone for a jackaroo, mum, gone for a jackaroo, learn every trade till my bones are made, I'll be a jackaroo. And just before we finish with this, I'd just like to thank young Iris Bishop for <laughs> Gone.